in this lesson we will look at the types of task modes task mode refers to how project will handle a task that you specify in your schedule there are two types of task modes for scheduling tasks automatic and manual in the gantt view here on the screen you can see a column called task mode that indicates the mode for each task row automatic task has this blue box with a small arrow icon and manual tasks have a push pin icon which we will see later currently all the tasks on this schedule are automatic and we will shortly add manual task also for you to see also in the task bar there is a command button that lets you specify how new tasks will be created by default you can change it any time if this control is not visible just right click like so and enable new task mode notification and the command button will appear for you okay let us now understand automatic tasks first for a task marked as automatic you typically indicate the task name duration and the predecessor task and project will automatically calculate when the task should occur and when it should finish this is similar to how things work in real life assume you have two project tasks assigned to you you can start the second task when the first task is completed so the first task's end date will determine when the second task's start date will be let us see how that works in project for task id 3 client meetings i will mark the duration as 5 days then i will set the start date as project start date and keep the predecessor as empty because this is the first task and it does not have a predecessor then for the next task project definition workshop i will mark duration as 2 days i will not touch the start or end dates now but i will only indicate that the predecessor is the previous task that is task id 3 as soon as we do this project auto scheduling kicks into action and we see a few beautiful things happening firstly notice the second task's start date has now changed how did project calculate this from the ending of the previous task as i just mentioned this task will start when the previous task ends secondly the second task's end date also has changed how did project calculate this from the duration that we entered thirdly if you look at the gantt chart you will see an arrow is now linking the two tasks together they have been effectively tied together in the future for these two tasks the dates are coupled together and changing duration for first will automatically affect the second this makes a lot of sense and this is one of the key strengths of microsoft project you can imagine that when projects get complicated with hundreds of tasks this will be a great power to have in hand we have only skimmed the surface now and auto scheduling shows its value when you have to make resource assignments do rescheduling and balance work for teams as much as possible you should use automatically scheduled tasks but it will require you to get more familiar with how project auto scheduling works practice makes perfect just note that you can also break the link between the tasks at any time just by removing the predecessor value marked for the second task here and the two tasks will become unhooked now that we have understood automatic tasks a bit let us look at manually scheduled tasks here project does not do any scheduling on your behalf 
you will be required to plan the start date, duration and end date yourself. Let me insert a manually scheduled task to see how they work. First, I will change the new task setting on the taskbar. Then, I will click on the new task button to insert a new task. My new task is created and I will give it a name, sign off by client. There are two things to notice here. One, project has not pre-populated the duration, start and end dates, like it did with auto schedule tasks. This is a little obvious because project wants to indicate to you that these are to be fixed by you. Secondly, you can see a tiny question mark in the task mode icon. This indicates that you have not yet fed any information about this task yet. Now, let us say our com client commits to sign off on 15th March and it will take one day for this to be communicated. I will enter these values. Now, you can see that the tiny question mark has vanished. There are only specific times when you would want to employ manually scheduled tasks. For example, when you have very little information about a task and you don't know when it is starting or how long it will take. But you want to keep a placeholder on the project schedule. This is one instance when you want to make a manual task. The second example would be when for some reason or other a task should be scheduled on a very specific date. For example, software updates have to occur on midnight of last day of every month. For such tasks, also you can set up manually scheduled tasks. So, in this lesson we have become familiar with auto schedule feature of project. We have also seen an alternative with manually scheduled tasks. I would recommend that you download this file and try out the scheduling features for yourself. There are some tasks here on the screen which you can play with. Remember again, practice makes perfect. In the subsequent lessons, we will learn more about auto and manual tasks.